DirecTV subscribers have been in the dark for the past 10 days, but let there be light. The service provider has penned a new deal restoring Viacom channels to subscribers. Here's News 12, New Jersey with the details. The companies have reached a deal to get Viacom's channels back on for DirecTV customers. The dispute over programming fees resulted in Viacom pulling the plug on 26 of its channels. When DirecTV's contract was up, the two companies were at odds about how much DirecTV should pay for a bundle of cable channels. According to XETV for Viacom, the issue was money. Viacom was seeking what DirecTV claimed was a 30% boost or an extra $1 billion on top of its prior deal. Viacom said the hike was just a couple of pennies per day per subscriber. A reporter for the Wall Street Journal says this isn't the first fee dispute between a pay TV provider and a program supplier, but what sets this conflict apart from others is the sheer size of DirecTV's customer base. Uh, this one was particularly notable because Viacom's huge, um, and so is DirecTV, Direct 20 TV. million subscribers. So we're bringing 17 channels back to those 20 million subscribers, including Comedy Central, MTV, and Nickelodeon. But an editorial in the LA Times suggests that crowd may dwindle over time. More and more subscribers are turning to other mediums for their entertainment fixes. The emergence of low-cost movies and TV programs online shows that the industry is in transition. While the spreading blackouts may leave consumers angry enough to switch providers or dump pay TV entirely. DirecTV has agreed to pay Viacom $600 million a year under a new seven-year contract. That's a 20% increase from the previous agreement. For Newsy, I'm Candace Avilez, Multiple Sources, The Real Story.